My name is Eric Rosen. I'm a personal injury lawyer in South Florida, and my passion is helping my injured clients get great results and sharing those experiences with you to help your clients get great results too. The topic for today is how to effectively use a PowerPoint presentation when you're making an argument to the court and you're on Zoom. Before we get into the topic, if you've watched these videos and you've got some value from them, but you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can receive notifications when we upload new videos, which we do each week. Times have changed and the way we practice law has changed, so we need to keep up to date with the new technology that we're using in court hearings, depositions, meetings, and mediations. So let's talk about how to effectively give a PowerPoint presentation when you're making an argument to the court and you're on Zoom. Now let's log into Zoom and show you how it's done. Go ahead and open up a PowerPoint presentation when you're on your desktop and go to the top and click on Slideshow and have that ready to either push play from start or play from current slide, whichever you prefer. Then open up Zoom on your desktop and join the meeting with the court. At the bottom of the screen, you should see an icon that says share screen. If that's not there, then ask the host of the meeting, which is usually the judge or judicial assistant, to grant you access to have the ability to share your screen. Click on share screen and you should see an image of your PowerPoint presentation on your screen and it looks like this. Go ahead and click on that and you'll begin sharing your PowerPoint presentation with the court. The next step is to go to the upper left hand corner of the screen and click play from beginning or play from current slide. Let's go ahead and click from play from beginning. Now your PowerPoint presentation is queued up for the judge to see as well as opposing counsel. PowerPoint presentations are really great tools and they have a lot of powerful features that you can include in your presentation. In a PowerPoint presentation, you can incorporate a video deposition to play for the judge. Sir, isn't it true that Fillmore's designed their cigarettes to be addictive? No, we did not. You can also show the judge exhibits with callouts directing the judge to the portion of the document that you want to show the court. Finally, in a PowerPoint presentation, you can direct the court to case law that's going to help you win your case. That's how you use a PowerPoint presentation when you're on Zoom, whether you're in a court hearing, a mediation, deposition, or other meeting. And the method that we did that works the same way whether you're on a PC or a Mac. So that's one tip that I want to share with you. I hope you got some value from it. I hope it helps your practice. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with new tips and strategies that we upload each week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you at the next After Action Report.